Hey man, super hey excited man. to chat to you. Oh. It feels like we've had a little bit of a brief period away and now we're back straight into the second album. How are you feeling? Definitely. I feel good, I feel good. I'm excited to, uh, to, to put this music out and work on it for a while, so I'm, I'm interested yeah. to see how people feel about it. I don't want to like scare you or anything, but when you look at the stats of the last album, it's impressive. It was, What's it the cool, headspace cool. going into the second one with that kind of those kind of accolades behind you? Um, I mean, I, I just I feel like um, you know I, I really got to know the people who like that album, and, and um, I you know it was it was great. Um, everything that happened, everything is really small and and and, uh, and compact, which is great because I feel you know, no real pressure to, to deliver on a certain date or anything like that. So that's awesome. it was really fun putting this, putting this, uh, this new record together. And um, I, uh, I definitely feel like I'm, I'm taking some risks and I'm stretching myself a little bit further, um, digging a little bit deeper. And so I, I'm just excited to, to share it with, with everyone else. It's an interesting position to be in for a second album because you want to maintain the fans you got in the first place but you also want to expand and stretch yourself as an artist. Did you think much about meeting that middle line? Um, I, I did for like a second and then I realized that the more I think about it, the, the, the more you, you're kind of, you're setting yourself up to, uh, to, to alienate yourself from, from what the, the people who liked the first album liked in the first place, which yeah. was uh, just, you know, a certain type of honesty and, and a certain type of, um, you know, oh, I'm gonna choose this thing and I'm gonna follow it and see it all the way through because this is genuinely what speaks to me. So yeah, if, I feel like if I was too conscious about trying to make, you know, a record that they would like, then it would inevitably become a record that I wasn't as connected to, which totally. would in turn make it something that they might not genuinely feel the same way about as the, they did on you know my previous album. Yeah, so of course. It's like this huge spider web of of. Um, of you know paradoxical thinking so i decided to just take all that away and just do exactly what i wanted to do with, yeah. the, with the new album and, and um you know so far I, I feel like uh just after listening to it i feel like i feel like everyone's gonna like it d'angelo feels like a big reference for me on that track but it's something Definitely, that yeah. a lot of people try and fail at <laughs> because they just like he's got it all you know you've got to have like the sensuality and the pipes to match but just like nailed it is he a massive influence for you as an artist as a whole? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge D'Angelo fan. And I think I think what made that video uh, so classic is because, you know, he, he dude was just, he was just standing there. He was just standing there singing a song. You yeah. Know, he wasn't, it, there wasn't any, there was no, uh, nothing disingenuous about it, you know? And yeah. so uh, obviously if I, you know, if I were to do that, you know, I, I would do it in in, uh, in in my way, so you know, I'm, I'm a big Seal fan. I love the way his album covers are. Yeah. Um, and I have like a very specific way that I perform, and uh, I, I feel like, you know, I, I I feel like when I when I saw the video and when um, you know I, I was kind of planning it out um, and uh, you know seeing it through, it, it it all kind of all these different influences kind of came together in this melting pot that yeah. that felt really just authentically me, you know, in the way that I would do this thing. So. Awesome. Um, but I mean, they, you, nobody's gonna ever be able to touch that, you know, that D'Angelo video. And I hope nobody tries to do what he did exactly the way he did. It, yeah, it's, totally. You know, you just. Yeah. But you've got to find your own spin. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so I just feel like whenever someone's being honest and genuine with themselves and with what they want to do, and they're not trying to like strategize or do something to, you know, then it just makes it a lot easier. And yeah. It's a lot less shit to try and, and memorize and remember about yourself if you just do what you want to do in the first place. Totally. So. It's interesting that you reference 90s R&B as a big influence because I feel like the power that R&B had back then has returned, particularly in the last two years. And last year was an incredible year for people like Scissor and Daniel Caesar. Oh, yeah. In particular, and you the year before. is an exciting time to be in, do you think, to be operating within, I know, not only that genre, but particularly within that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, it's, it was, it's encouraging to see artists like that um, be so popular because then, you know, it, it, it shows that the audience does exist for that type of stuff. And yeah. so, um, I, I, you know, I couldn't have been, um, I couldn't have been happier to, to, to see, you know, just massive, massive amounts of fans yeah. celebrating, you know, this entire wave of, of R&B that's, that's, you know, been kind of gestating for a while. And now it's, it's kind of, you know, becoming the, the, the go-to sound. 
I saw you at a festival a few years ago. I think it might have been Coachella. Do you think of certain festival stages and stages that you want to get to? Are you ambitious like that? Um, I think, um, you know, I definitely want to want to connect with, with a large amount of people, you yeah. know, and so um, I, I def every time an opportunity like that comes comes by, I, I, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't want to pass it up. Yeah. I know you said before you've been listening back to the album. Is it hard for you to sit on something for so long? Do you kind of just want to go out on the street and start handing it out like a mixtape? Yeah, ki kind of. Yeah, I mean, there's a. I, I did a lot of. I, I wrote a lot of, a lot of songs for for this album. Yeah. So, um, and I, I kind of. I, I knew I wanted to do it that way because it was the opposite of how I usually, you know, do things. Yeah. But, but the side effect is, is you know, I have, like, four different albums in there that I, you know, feel like could have could have been out already. So, yeah. Um, I'm definitely happy with it at this point. So I'm I'm really excited to share it. Is there one song in particular that if you only got to release one more song for the rest of your career, you would release that? Oh man, you know, there, I, there's a song called Doesn't Matter that's going to be... Um, the first yeah, single. Yeah, the, the yeah. first single, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I feel like that's... It's a song that I feel like, um, you know, it perfectly blends, you know, my sensibility with, um, you know, some a collaborator that I really trust, a couple, yeah. um, their sensibilities. And um, it tells a very specific story in a very specific way that I really, I've, I've always wanted to do. Yeah. Um, you know, Gentleman would be the other song that I would want to put out. Yeah, that awesome. was the only song that I could ever put out because, um, you know, these these two songs, it's like, you know, I just can't die without without seeing what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's stuff that I've always wanted to make. So, but it goes for the whole album too. You know, I really feel like I'm uh, definitely taking some risks and doing some things a little bit differently. And, um, it, it's the the uh, the prospect of what's waiting on the other side of that hurdle of putting the stuff out is uh, you know really enticing. So I'm excited to see see what happens. I love you using the word enticing rather than <laughs> nerve wracking or something because everybody like goes through the second album jitters. But yeah, to but see you, know, you looking over that it's bridge like and like... being like, yeah, I'm gonna get there and it's gonna be <laughs> awesome. Yeah, exactly. It's so exciting, man. I'm really ready for this record and it's so nice to chat to you. Oh, thank you.